Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time you are at. We are in the evening. No rain. There might be some, so apologies for any noise. We are back with another episode of The Real Wrestling Show. And we are The Real Wrestling Show for what we believe to be The Real Wrestling Show, which is A-E-W. W. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of the age of 15, because our foul mouth language is... Fuck! We proudly bring to you the greatest wrestling blog tag team champions in the world. I think Big Z just broken his toy. We have... The Bull Bastard, Big Z, looking a bit like Richard O'Brien from the Crystal Maze. Not really. And we've also got the TV man, a.k.a. Atomaro. Dozy. And together we make up the real wrestling show. Dash bloggy. Oh. And what we do on here is a rundown of Rampage, a rundown of Dynamite, but the other way around. And then any other specials that AEW come up with, which this week we haven't got any. Uh, and we touch on any rumours of wrestling, which might come off the top of the head or on a piece of paper that I've written down in front of me. Um, I will say one other thing as well. It doesn't make any account to you people watching this, but on the camera, the your hat actually says one, two, three. On my TV, <laughs> which is quite mad because it's backwards. But uh, yeah, brilliant show from Dynamite this week. Yes. I thought it was definitely. absolutely fucking awesome. And that's why it's for children above the ages of 15. Because well, of the fuckingness. Crowd. Huh? Crowd help, definitely. Canadian crowd, always a hot crowd. Mm. Always. It Canada. wasn't just Aloe Man, like the matches were awesome. All of them. Yeah, definitely. I think the only one that was a bit shit was Jade. But. There was a mm-hmm. moment to it. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. You know, but, uh, yeah, nice start to the show, which we had uh, MJF's re- Rebar Mitzvah. Rebar. 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 Lindley, Lindley. Yeah, Rebar Mitzvah. MJF to the ring uh, with women. Gets off for the last one. Might be his new missus. It's not the old one, because she obviously dumped his ass. Uh, this is Bret, ass. Bret Hart says that Shawn Michaels was better, which yeah. I thought that was a nice dig at the crowd, like, do you know what I mean? And they reacted well as well. Uh, dancing in the ring with all the other Jewish guys, lifted up in a chair. Jungle Boy comes out, Sammy comes out, Darby comes out. He basically says, what do you want? They say, we want a title match. That was pretty good. Title shot, yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, Jungle Boy says, MJF has never been on Dark Elevation or Rampage, which lots of people are kicking off about, saying that it, it degrades like Rampage's prestige and stuff. But I don't know about that. Uh, Sammy says he had to work the indies he was supposed to be the bump guy just for Jericho and nothing more now he's been three time champion Darby says he didn't change anything about himself he is with AEW for the long haul because they let him be him which was a fucking wicked promo he did man it may not be a good businessman but I told him there was no bigger more that was I was like yes mate that's awesome yeah that's fucking sick mate uh, Philip of the Twitter whiners says that MJF don't g- if you don't give him a title shot, then he's going to complain on Twitter, which I thought that was pretty funny as well. After saying what he did, uh, MJF face is all fucked up when he takes his hat and his glasses off. Darby's like, ah, fucking hell, you look like shit. <laughs> which I, thought, I laugh quite hard at that man. Uh, MJF says that they're all s- they all had somebody and he had nobody. <clears throat> yeah, which and I thought was cool as fuck. And at that point, the crowd started chanting Wardlow. Yeah, but before Wardlow, there was a good, good few months, mate. Was there? Yeah. I don't think there was. There was, mate, because you remember they promoted Wardlow for a good couple of months first. I, I'm going to have to go back and look, mate. I'll have to have a look at our archives. But Wardlow was MJF's build guy. Yeah, he was for a bit, yeah, definitely. Do you know but what I mean? For the first few months, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. It's like he's only had like 10 matches in the entire of the four years he's been there. I know it. Do you know what I mean? But again, like, do you know what I mean? Like I said to you before, and Paul Heyman pointed on this, certain wrestlers need to be that because they're an attraction. I get that. If you put them on TV every week, they're not going to be. I, I appreciate that. All that money. They can do a massive build with MJF, get him, because he, yeah. like, i got to be fair, he held his own against Brian Danielson. Yeah, he did, mate. Like I said, mate, isn't he He is fucking brilliant. Like, I've got to be fair. Yeah. He is, he's got some real good moves. Like, the, the power bomb on the knee is sick, like, for me. But he's looking 
he's looking like he's progressing over time. It don't look like it's just overnight, which is great. Do you know what I mean? Because he's yeah. been cocky from the beginning. He's been a bit of shit from the beginning and he's got better and better and better in the ring. You know? So, yeah, pretty good, man. Uh, he pushes Jungle Boy and then Jungle Boy hits him with the microphone. MJF gets knocked off the apron into the cake and then Darby, Darby's music plays. Is that a sign? Of what? Well, Jungle Boy's music could have played. Sammy's music could have played. MJF's music, I oh, like that wasn't going to play because he's the one who went into the cake. But it was Darby's. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'm looking into that too much, like, but I wouldn't be disappointed, though, if Darby become world champ, like, do you know what I mean? But well, he was the last one out as well, wasn't he? Yeah. But, it, like, I don't know whether it was not, it was him that actually made MJF bump into the cake. It could have well been that. Yeah. So, but anyway, yeah, pretty good opener to the show, man. Real, real good. Yeah, yeah real good promo, fair play. All the pillars as well. well it, that's all the pillars, isn't it? Mm -hmm. that's, that was a never good thing about without Jarena. Well, before Derby yeah. came out, when they were all in each corner, I was like, Derby's going to come out now. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And then his music hit, like, do you know what I mean? It had to be, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, sick, man. Very well done for uh, AEW for putting that on. And the longevity of the storytelling that has actually got him to that point. Yeah. You know? In the past, what it could be as that's, well. a, that's a four year storyline, like, do you know I mean? Yeah. Um, they didn't write it down. Jericho receives a reward, a prestigious award. What reward was it? Do you imagine? Do you grab it? I didn't notice what the award was for. I think it's, it was just an honorary award, and he's basically had a, his childhood street named after him. Which is called Street Named After Him. <laughs> I didn't write what it was called. I think it's something like Jericho Avenue or something like that. Okay. Well, Jericho deserves everything he gets, mate. I've never heard the bad words said about him apart from stupid no. writers. My missus said to me yesterday, she went, uh, we were talking about like, uh, like locker room leaders. And she went, no, oh, in AEW, who would you say is like the locker room leader? I was at Jericho. She was like, oh, yeah. well, really? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. 100%. It's like when the biggest thing I said to you is like COVID, right? COVID hit. Jericho rang at Tony. He was like, right, obviously someone so can't get there. Who's, who's on commentary? And yeah. he was like, well, and he was like, I'll be there now. Yeah. We were on his own yeah. private jet. Like, but they, that's, that's, can you imagine how any, we can do it after the no. Any time that there's been any sort of like, Crisis media wise or anything like that, Jericho's always been the fire extinguisher. It was the same in WWE as well. Remember when that happened? Randy Orton, Brock. Brock Lesnar and Randy Orton, yeah. yeah. Who was went to go and take off Brock Lesnar? Like. Yeah, exactly, Doc. Like, I mean, like, so definitely, like, yeah, Jericho does deserve everything, man. But go on, man, move on to the next, on to the next. Next, we had the BCC versus the Dark Order and Hangman. Now, pretty. Pretty fucking good match, mate. Pretty yeah. good match. Brilliant match, mate. Uh, did you see on the apron, oh, the return of Stu Grayson, the kind of Canadian hero? Well, he's not a Canadian hero, but he is Canadian. Beast. Stu Grayson is a G. We've always said that. Stu G. Grayson. And he's all elite again. Yeah. Fucking Tony, listen. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. Should have, anyway. He's a beast. Anyway. DDT on the apron, then a Meteora by Stu. Sick. DC Tornado, DDT, and a Springboard, Springboard, Western Noon Salt by Stu. Stu slammed into the guardrail, stiff as fuck. Then a Spike Car Driver by All on the outside to Stu. That was all in the advert break on ITV. Why are you watching it on ITV? Because I was re-watching it and I was being lazy. Sometimes on the PlayStation it just kicks Fight TV off all the time. So it constantly stops and I have to like kind of skip it for and I can't be bothered. Yeah, Chromecast, bro. 30 quid. Nah. Go on, crack on, man. Um, Power driver to Mox. Yep, yeah, I all on the outside. Fisherman's gets two for... Someone, Utah. Then he twists it into a submission on the kick out, which is quite nice. Uh, Powerbomb by Hangman on Utah. Then a Santon by Uno with Beast. Utah uses the bell 
picks up Hangman during the Buckshot Lariat attempt while the ref is distracted. Huge Steve Fatality on Mox. Uh, but you uh, makes the save on the pin. European Epicat, then the Rear Naked Choke. BCC wins. Stu Grayson, obviously, clearly, I know BC's going to go the same man of the match. Two time. Yeah, man. Fucking brilliant match, man. But surprisingly, not a high number because ITV is fucking shit. I T B three. Uh, I doubled your ass and went with a fucker. Hmm. Well, when you come back from the advert break and they were all going on about all the stuff that had just happened on the outside, like I was like, you fucking assholes, like. Do you know what I mean? Well pissed off, man. The only time I've ever watched it on TV is when the act like sometimes the apple has been like, yo, they're gone in. I was just be like, nope, not yeah. having it. Yeah. You know, I'll watch it like and I'll keep turning off. Does it on a PlayStation? It's a twat, mate. But that's, it only happens, like, I'm obviously casting it from my phone. Yeah. So, like, it only happens when, like, obviously I'm part of group chats for work and stuff like that. So, yeah. when everything's kicking off on my phone, Cut, that's where yeah, it happens. Cuts it out, like, pain in the ass, man. Uh, what do we have after the match, bro? Uh, after the match, they keep, the BCC keep, keep the attacking going on. Take out uh, Evil Uno, he's got to go to the hospital, doesn't he? Yep, concussion, apparently. John Silver yeah. and Alex Reynolds cannot make the save. What do you think of uh, this storyline anyway, bro? It's alright, man. I'm glad that it's... um it turned pretty quickly, like it's kind of gone like, pretty like, switched, like, do you know what I mean? I don't know, mate, it's, there's a blurred line now in wrestling, isn't it? It's not so much like... You don't have to be a good guy and a bad guy. You've just got to be followed. No, but they're acting like heels and they're getting... I, I don't understand it was in Canada, but it's not the only... What, what, are, you, what are you saying? That the Dark Order have turned from heel to good guys? No, no, no. I'm not saying the BCC have turned from... Right. ...based to heels. They had a while ago, though. Like... There was a slight... There was a slight showing of it, but it's like literally gone from slight showing to... Nope, now it's happening. Like, in my opinion, as soon as William Regal was a part of it, mate, they went bad, guys. Mm. You know what I mean? Maybe. Yeah. You know? I suppose. Look how much he's turned out to be a snake. You yeah. bastard. But anyway... Well, he's a what do you expect? Huh? He's a reptile collector, what do you expect? <laughs> yeah. The lizard man. Next up, we had a promo from Juice Robinson. Uh, asked why he attacked Ricky Stark. Says you ain't going to do nothing. Then we had my favourite wrestler in all of the world, Nicole Matthews versus Jade. Wow. Titty Buster finish. Jade man of the match. Squash match. What a load of shit. Uh, after the match, Jade goes to attack Rene, saying you're from Canada, blah, 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 blah. Taya Valkyrie comes out. They face off. She hits Layla with the titty boom. Yeah. Because Jade's is called a titty buster and Ty Valkyries is called a titty boom. Because I. Well, she did that. She, do, um, she didn't do it here. She did do the Jade, didn't she? On that one. Wow. She does They're identical it. moves, aren't they? Well, no, because she, slams, she, she drops Ty, didn't she, onto her, onto her butt when she slams him? No. Ty lands on her ass and so does Jade. Did she? No, I'm sure Jade. Does does like an X Factor type X Pack sit down thing? I don't know. I can't remember. I thought she did. It doesn't matter. She's not important. Zero moments in the match. After the match, Ty Valkyrie, yeah, blah 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 blah. Nice to see Ty Valkyrie there. I hope she fucking takes it from Jade. And then yeah, I hope I hope Chris Statlander then comes in and takes it from everyone. I yeah. missed I missed Statlander, man. I want her back. I think she's uh Actually, other than what's her name, she hasn't been there for a while. The older bird, Dean. Not the, uh, Serena Dean. She is one of my faves. Like I mean, uh, I put a belt on Statlander as soon as she gets back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Before she injures her other leg. Uh, yeah, definitely. I love Statlander. Uh, I'm gonna do the next bit because that match was shit. We had a promo with Tony backstage with Ricky Starks, calls out Juice Robinson, says basically, 
You want to attack someone from behind? Then we have I a match. I like the way he did what he said. He was like, what, the bullet clip? <laughs> Man, I think he has yeah. 20 feet. Yeah. 2015, yeah. Get relevant. Like, he, still, he still went, well, if, if, if they asked him about Graham, I don't care. Yeah. Like that as well. Like. Could be good, man. Ricky Starks is going to have to start creating himself a crew soon. Mm-hmm. Hook. Jungle Boy. Well, be dead with that, can't I? Yeah, but he needs a crew. Hook, Jungle Boy. Dan Housen. Orange Cassidy. There's a crew right there, bro. Anyway, moving on. QTV, the debut of. QT Marshall with his crew of fit blonde lady that every time she moved her legs, I was just like, oh. Uh, Aaron Solo Will Hobbs <laughs> RJ City Was in the background I don't know if you noticed him Yeah He's just pull, pulling faces But they kept on looking at him As though he was part of the crew Which I yeah. hope RJ City starts getting a bit more TV time Because he's fucking hilarious bro I don't like him at all Oh he's great man uh, They make out that they stole the belt from Wardlow's car yeah. Even though when they smashed the window, it was clearly plate glass that broke on the floor, <laughs> not a window from a car. Good job, guys. Yeah. Yeah, it was a bit shit. You would at least try and edit the video that wore the lad. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, possibly, yeah. You don't need to show the smashing of the window. Either, like for me. No. Could have just, just been hot. Going. Broke some glass, put it on the floor. Yeah. And opening the car. Yeah. Exactly. But anyway, let's move on. Let's digress. Move move forward more. Yeah. What's on you? Alrighty then. Oh, that gives you the main event as well. Uh next up we had the international belt. Should we call it that, or should we call it the international tit? <laughs> uh, between Jeff Jeller and Orange Cassidy. Great match this was, in my opinion. Uh, Shockmaster yeah. was in the crowd. Big up to the Shockmaster. High style. <laughs> Orange holds his leg, is my first note. It was a bit standard wrestling early on. Which, no, I'm not complaining about that. Standard wrestling is great. I like technical wrestling. That's what it was. A lot of back and forth. Not much happened. Orange Cassidy goes for the move, holds his leg. Uh, then Jeff Jarrett. Oh, it's Je- uh, Orange Cassidy with the orange kit. kicks, which were fucking deadly. Sanjay holds Orange's leg on the outside. Something happens on the outside. Outside. ITV missed it. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, that's quite over the timekeeper's table into like a chair as well he caught the chair with his leg what a wonderful thing for ITV to miss and the guardrail and then I come and then I come back in with Satnav throws orange into the ring like a bag yeah which was uh, looked impressive in in all fairness like if he can actually get his shit in check and wrestle he's probably going to look pretty good man yeah definitely do you know what I mean um, Jeff Jarrett focusing on Orange's leg Sharpshooter by Jarrett Sharpshooter by Orange Jarrett gets a rope break uh, Sat Nav does a rope choke to Orange Then Jeff Jarrett It's a shin breaker Figure four Ref gets knocked out Guitar into the ring Aubrey comes out Stops Jeff Jarrett from using the guitar Orange gets Sat Nav And Sanjay evicted By playing as though he just got it Which Wasn't the greatest Sell really, like, do you know what I mean? He just kind of went yeah. and then fell over, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but I suppose it is the sloppy way of doing stuff. Like, uh, one leg kip up by Orange was quite nice, never seen anyone do that, but that was very impressive. Lethal hits Orange with the globe and he kicks out a two. Then Trent takes out Lethal, which the camera guy missed that, it wasn't ITV's fault at all. It was, I, I am right in saying you didn't see him being taken out other than him just being on the floor. Yeah. But I think it was a spear. Uh, orange can't do the orange punch and then Orange does the orange punch for the finish of the match. <laughs> Best way to sum that up, really. Orange Cassidy wins. Still international tit. Orange Cassidy, man of the match. Four moments. 
Only for my mask and oh, I had three moons. Not bad, man, not bad. It's Even really though. On a, well, the international title that has happened, didn't it? Because it couldn't just be defended by in the world. It couldn't. Well, no, it, it, like we always said that in the beginning, though, it had to be like, and yeah. even when they said All Atlantic, it was like, uh, it might work, we'll have to see how it kind of pans out, like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I think even we said, like, the international title or something like, yeah. or even again, the intercontinental, do you know what I mean? Like, or well, that's what continental. That's what you're saying, the intercontinental, isn't it? Yeah, but international makes sense, like, do you know what I mean? That, that, means, yeah. that means everything. Yeah. Without saying the world. Because apparently yeah. the world title only stays in one place. <laughs> Weird. Weird. Yeah. So obviously he's a bit more full time than I expected, to be honest. Yeah, I know, man. But I think it's for the storyline at the moment. Let's just hope that it's not Jeff Jarrett doing what Jeff Jarrett has always done in the past. No, because he hasn't come in like he's not a main eventer, is he? Like, I mean. No, but he's got a habit of going in places and taking belts. Well, only companies for his own. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I just don't want it to be that type of thing again, man. I don't think he will, mate. I think he's there for. He paid up with JD for for a reason. There's past from the Red Flair match. Was that Red Flair's final match? Yeah. They were the, the opponents. Yeah. And it, it just makes sense to have Jeff Jarrett in the locker room because he is a good wrestling man. Not denying it, mate. I am not denying it. Like, the guy who's got knowledge. He doesn't look bad in the ring. He doesn't, mate. He's looking good. Like, do you know I mean, I just don't want to. I just don't want it to be too focused on him again. Yeah. And like, don't get me wrong, right? We've always said in wrestling, like, oh, the old, the old guys need to step aside and give it to the young guys. Like, we always said that, like, but it's different now because AEW are utilizing the older guys in the exact way that they should be utilized. Yeah. It's not just the case yeah. of like, oh, well, they're old. Like, they've got to win every match. It's like, no, they're old guys. They've got they've got a legendary status. Like, when people beat them. I, I, Jerry it means something. Black lately, lately, like, and it's like. I mean, one thing I was listening to a podcast with uh, Comrade Thompson, I think it was with Eric Bischoff. And he said, It's funny how Jericho has flipped the coin. He went, What do you mean? He was like, Well, he seems to be now getting the flat what Hogan used to get. Yeah. And then Jericho originally started on the other side of the coin where it was everyone calling for Jericho type thing, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And they get. Yeah, but Jericho can can change his persona like overnight. Yeah, exactly. And as well, like I said, since he's been AEW, yeah, he was the first ever world champion. That makes sense. Yeah, it it's is. As simple as that. Yeah. But since then, he has lots of big rivalries. Orange Cassidy being one. And what they what they also did with Jericho becoming champ for the first time was set something up, which is still building now, and being Hangman, being one of the top guys in AEW, like Jimmy. Yeah. You know steadily be building because if they try and do it overnight and just give them the belt it's like it's not going to work people are going to fizzle out straight away but people fucking yeah. love him now like do you know what I mean people yeah, exactly. fucking love him like do you know what I mean so they've they've done it right in Jericho wise like do you know what I mean but let's move on man because we're going to dawdle a bit yeah what was next House of Black uh, Jericho Appreciation Society and the Elite Hype for a triple yeah. threat triple match yeah, we're going to all over it, fair play. Uh, the acclaimed promo, a rap video. Again, another nice rap video yep. by uh, the acclaimed. Filming in front of a lift. I like it. I don't know why, but I did. It looked cool. Then we have the uh, the outcasts, as they're calling them. The uh, former Buck Vince people. You haven't said that in such a long time. I know, that's why he's in it. Oh, no, it can come back now, can it? Fuck Vince. Yeah. Yeah, hey, uh, and, yeah well, I, I, I like what they said. Because a lot of it was true. The problem is, what Ruby said was, you can't wrestle, so that's why it's true. Other I, than that. <laughs> I wrote, outcasts come out, Ruby says, and then I say, Soraya calls the crowd twats. I literally don't know what Ruby said. Soraya calls Drow Cat. Tony, Tony says I wasn't appreciated. We are the outcasts. Talks, talks post victims or past victims. Brit hated out. Rio out. Sky Willow come out. 
But yeah, yeah Ruby didn't say anything as far as I'm aware. She didn't say anything, like, because everything she said, I was like, yeah, it's true, but the reason that's happened is because you're cats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at you blending in the back like, background of a group. When it, like, what Tony said was good. I liked it because she was like, I was the interim champion. Yeah. I was the interbug and all that. And so she was like, and then I was cheered until I went against your favourite out of nowhere, Jamie Hayter, and I lost because they cheated. And you cheered for it. And I like that because it's true. Yeah. And that's what we love about wrestling, mate. Mm -hmm. Storylines can come from anywhere. Uh, next up, we had a promo backstage 2.0, still talking about the acclaim joining Jericho Appreciation Society. And then they say, hey, watch us on Rampage. We're going to fight the Bollywood boys. Yeah. Rock on, Goth! Rock on, Wade! Yeah. They, i got to be fair, like, every time they talk, I just want to listen. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They do, they are fucking awesome talkers, like. But uh, yeah. That's all, but they're approaching that. They are really approaching that line of jokers now. Yeah. They're still. You said that about the hat, though, mate. And the hat's working. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, the hat's working. I knew that, mate. I, I knew. I knew it would probably work. Yeah. But with them, I like, mean, it's like how many times can like I said how many times can people lose and you believe in him? Like Lance Archer, like, I mean, I don't believe he's a monster anymore because he's lost too many times. And he doesn't portray himself as a monster. He like he comes across like the soft guy yeah. like I don't know what it is about Lance Archer but he does not come across like a bad guy yeah ever do you know what I mean ever maybe if he just like literally had jet black hair fucking jet black everything maybe he might but he doesn't ever come across like a bad guy but anyway we're dawdling again next up we had a promo Phoenix calls out Will Hobbs yeah which uh I was kind of like oh alright that's that'll be a good little matchup I know obviously Hobbs is going to win it but then as soon as I thought that, like, oh, well, Hobbs is going to retain this. Like, well, how, like, how is Phoenix going to credibly going to be able to give up that loss? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I was quite surprised. I quite enjoyed the match. Yeah, I think. Man. I think. And we move on to yep. the main dynamite scene. Nah. House of Black. Versus the elite. Versus gas. You can do it as well. Uh, Mr. Drum. House of Black Swarm while Jericho and Omega face off in Canada. Getting that destroyed by taking it away from the fans that day. Uh, Malachi running boots takes out Omega. That was beast. Yeah. You see, end of the back breaker by Jericho, as always, old school. Buddy catches Nick in his bit where he does all his running bit and launches him into the lane to Black's knee. That was nice. Yeah, I like that. And Nick and Mike ran her by the Hurricane Rana by Kenny Omega Beast. Then they did their old favourites bit, which is shit. It's not shit, it's good, but it's like played out. Like. It's happening every fucking week. Yeah. It's like they need to change it up, don't they? Like, like a couple of them do a favourites and then it's stop. Rather than everybody do their favourites. It's luck week where they were like, right, I know Nick's coming now, so I'll... There he is. Yeah. Like, really, it was a bit like too... Choreographed. Yeah, choreographed. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Which I hate to say. Yeah, really I know. I using that word in my but sometimes it needs to be said. And especially... Especially in, a, in an elite match, the fact that they are so spontaneous, or they fluent, seem, so. yeah, they seem spontaneous and fluent. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, to the outside by Omega, nice. Uh, double super kick by Omega and Jericho on Brody King. A stick crow break against two. Looks like he fucking almost ripped his head off. Yeah. Uh, Backstage, then Dark Order, Hangman, and the BBC are brawling backstage. We're backstage twice, why? I'm tired. Cold uh, Breaker counters the Indie Taker. That was sick. Yeah, that was cool, man. Jericho was showing his evilness to still be a youth, even though he's not. Yep. Is that, that 
did remind me of like nineties Jericho when the way he just flew in there like it yeah. was like Uncle Watson. Off the floor as well, like he like he got yeah. up, didn't he? Like uh, shoot star press by Sammy, then we shoot star press the outside by Sammy. Uh, Dante's in Bino or Garcia. Thomas Black win. I went with Jericho, man of the match. I went with Omega, man of the match. Great match, oh man. I had a whopping nine moments. I'm one away, mate, with eight. So not bad, That's mate. Good, good system we got, man. Good system. Yeah, brilliant main event. We kind of there as well, like Jericho and Omega really pulled off there a bit. Yeah. Everyone else did their part. Sick match. Awesome. After the match, here you go, so Brody King. But obviously, like, uh, what, what's the name? They all get the advantage. Uh, I was black. Um, then the BCC and Hangman kind of come down as well, brawling from earlier on during the match. I thought it was cool as fun. Yeah. Having a main event and having a separate story like going on backstage. I thought that was it. Yeah. And, and that too, obviously, the, the thing we've all been waiting for. The reunion. So Hangman thinks he's standing on his own, but the, the, the elite are actually behind him while BCC are facing off and back off. Yeah. Yeah, and there was footage of that same kind of setup as well about three years earlier mm. where he was in the ring but he was wearing like different clothes I, I can't remember yeah. but yeah very good though man very good storytelling from AEW they like to me yeah so uh yeah let's see how they're let's see how they're feeling like do you know I mean like because AEW let's be fair are kicking it out of the park at the moment yeah. do you know I mean coming off a hot pay-per-view Last week's episode was pretty good. I like Rampage has been a little bit up and down. Do you know what I mean? But Dynamites, they've been reasonably consistent, man, with like reasonably consistently set. Yeah, real good Rampage entertainment. Huh? Rampage is really exciting for me. It's really exciting. Really? Yeah. So you're lying? No, I'm not lying, mate. Rampage doesn't do it for me at the moment. It's not I haven't been for a while. It's... It is the B show, simple as yeah, that. Yeah, it is. Absolutely not. And now that they're doing these house rules, that'll be the third show that they'll have on Saturdays, probably. Yeah. Which is a fucking piss take. But there we are. But uh, we're going to go and have two minutes, a minute, 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 and we'll be back in a minute, 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 minute. <laughs> we're back from the break. Yes, we are. And we're going to do some Rampage. 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 Uh, it was an okay show. It wasn't, a, it wasn't anywhere near Dynamite. It was an okay show. Uh, mainly, mainly all right. I was it was all right. I loved the opener. The opening match was brilliant. Uh, which was for the TNT title, Hobbs versus Phoenix, which uh, Phoenix called him out on Dynamite, as we discussed earlier on. Um, yeah, great match. run. Phoenix shoulder badge out the air by Hobbs. That was quite nice. Phoenix dives. They were all nice. Executed very well. Uh, Hobbs catching Phoenix off the crossbody and then hitting him with a power slam. That was nice. Phoenix into the guardrail. Big Irish rips by Hobbs. Phoenix gets chucked into the post. Looked brilliant. Uh, pulled. Phoenix gets pulled off the ropes into the power slam. Very slick by Hobbs. Uh, flipping German Phoenix. That was nice. Gets two count with a powerful kick out by Hobbs. Uh, rolling cutter by Phoenix gets two count. Tight rope kick by Phoenix. Looked great. Commentary made a big boo hard about it. Shoulder badge into the corner was brutal by uh, Brody King, uh, by um, Hobbs. Oh. Spinebuster gets two count for Hobbs, and then it was a nice spot in the match where they slowed it down a bit, where they they both like were out, they were both down. Yeah, can't remember what the actual move was leading up to them actually being on the floor. I think it was clotheslines. I'm not sure, but that was pretty good. Good the way they slowed it down. The crowd were with them as well. Frog Splash by Phoenix gets two count. Spine Buster, reverse DVD for the finish of the match. Can't remember what he calls it. I can't remember what uh, Will Hobbs' reverse Death Valley driver was called. Uh, downtown Business. Downtown Business for the finish of the match. Will Hobbs wins. Still champion. Man of the match, Will Hobbs for me. I'm biased as always. <laughs> Rick Phoenix. Green Phoenix. 
No, he was good, Hobbs was, man. And a quite a big number in this one as well for me. Eight eight moments. Just show with uh, a Seven moments. Good rating system, good rating system. After the match, QT hits Alex Abrahantes with a cutter. For some reason. We don't know why. But, uh, yeah. Why didn't come out? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I thought he was going to come out for the save. At this point, yeah, but... I don't know. Or is it, he's not injured on that thing, because I haven't seen Tanker for... Uh, no, he was on it last week. Was he? Yeah, I think so. Lucha Brothers. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Battle Royal, wouldn't he? Yeah. There are other wrestlers that are injured, but not Penta as far as I'm aware. Next up, we got a promo. Adam Cole returns 29th of March. Adam Cole's a baby. Looking for a challenge. Looking for a challenge. Adam Cole's a baby. Who's he going to challenge? Yeah, who's he going to be? I do apologise. All the bells in the background. There's a church like not far away from where we're filming. It's pretty noisy. Bell ends. I don't know, mate. It's got to be someone. It's got to be someone outside, haven't it? Is it? I don't know. I think that would make sense for for someone to rock up and then be like, "Oh shit, didn't fucking expect that." You know, because he he needs to come out of the match with a win, but he needs to come out of the match yeah. with a win over somebody. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean like somebody that's going to make him look as though like, "Oh fuck." Shit, man, I didn't fucking see that coming. Like, an MB on the back foot, and then him just winning. Do you know what I mean? And winning yeah. clean would be good as well. Yeah. But we know that's not going to happen. He's going to cheat. Plen plenty of fish are going to come in and join him. And the other one, the other guy who fought for one match and then went on sick. Kyle Wright. Hmm. I don't know he fought one match. Did he? Yeah, he was. You were impressed with him because I. Oh, he's good, mate. He is good, but he only wrestled like one or two matches, and then he hurt himself. Well, that's what I was thinking, mate. If he's fit to wrestle, that would be the best thing if you were Kyle O'Reilly. That'd be pretty cool. You get the shot back there. He's not new, and it's a big return for him. Yeah. Who else approves it? What's going on? Then? Are they are they still in dispute with the one? Yeah. Tony Khan, you can have that one. You can have that one right there. Yeah. Um, then we had a promo. promo. Go on. A shoe promo. Everyone's going to ask him, my, my back, my back. Was this what you did to eat Bruno? I'm Fuck in this hospital. Yeah. yeah, I'm back and I want Mox next week. And I promised you one thing. I'm going to break you. I know that was a Claudio uh, impression, but I can only do that. Otherwise, he comes out like an Indian, and that's not very right. So, but yeah, what's next, man? Taya versus Eva Lawless. Taya Valkyrie. Yeah, Taya Valkyrie's EW Ingwin debut and Eva Lawless's EW debut, like it matters. Squash. A uh, bit of a shit spear. Yes. By Taya. I'm glad you said that. And then the road to Valhalla. Titty boom. Wrestler, you want to call it? Titty boom. Uh, Tire wins. Tire man of the match. Yep. No moments. Uh, Jade and um, Sterling and Lady Grey on the ramp, watching on, taking notes. I didn't even write that down because it involved Jade. Next up. <laughs> Quite funny this was. Stokely training with Hardy, Ego and Isaiah. Scoop slamming him and then going, yeah, hook's a suplex machine and then Ego pops in and goes, why are we scoop slamming him? <laughs> or why are we power slamming him? I thought I was wicking me. I laughed my head off of that. And then Hardy's just smiling all the way through it as they're beating up Stokely. He's going to get to the match, mate, and he's going to be fucking, he's going to be like visibly exhausted, isn't he? Yeah. That's what it's going to end up being, and Hook is just going to batter the fuck out of him, mate. It's going to be wicked. Yeah. It's going to be a very, very entertaining segment. Uh, then we had... You're going to do the main event, because i got fuck all on it. Uh, 
Then we had the Bollywood Boys versus Not 2.0 Jericho Appreciation Society tag team. Is that their official name? Not 2.0. Not 2.0 Jericho, Jericho Appreciation Society tag team. No, I, I, I've just written 2.0. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I don't think they have got another name. So, uh, Bollywood Boys do their double team, which was like a almost like a death. Uh, death do, 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 do death I can't even th- say my words man it wasn't but they, they had them lifted hit them with an elbow that was their double team crowd loved fat Ed. 2.0 do their double team elbow drop which is the one's got him on the floor the other one jumps off his back and elbow drops him pretty shit really double team DDT for the finish by 2.0 Jericho Appreciation Society tag team well I want wrote other than that I pretty much wrote exactly the same except for Looked like it was going to be a brilliant counter by one of the Bollywood boys, where he's about to like, where they bit, were going to be a vertical suplex him double, and he was going to do a double neck breaker reversal. Yeah. And just as he went like that, he went. It's a rampage. One night TV's, one night TV's fault though. No, it was, it was, uh, it was quite this time. Mm. Someone keeps getting it fucking wrong. Zero moments, fat head man of the match. Cool hand man of the match for zero moments. Cool hand, zero moments. After the match, they do a scissor taunt. Mocking the ass claimed. <laughs> the air claimed. <laughs> oh, there the air claimed. That he ass claimed. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Not a great match, really. Not really a great show in considering their promo. Yeah, yeah, you want to see some entertainers with make my nipples hard? Do you know what I mean? And then, Bollywood boys. See what I mean? I tried to do a class. What I was pointing out earlier is only so, many, so much time before they become jokers and not they become Santino Morales. Yeah. Santino Morales is no longer a fat type thing, like you mean. He, he never was, though, man. Even though, like, when. When they did that whole storyline of like, oh, some random guy coming out of the crowd, I was like, I, I can really get behind this guy. And then he started wearing a sock. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I have Bradshaw right now. But anyway, let's move on, shall we? It's not a promo. You can't not put the promos as well. I said I was going to be the main event. Oh, I'll do the fucking promos then. Uh, we had the promo at the airport. Don Callis greeting Takeshita on an escalator. With a guy drumming. Welcome to America. It was shit, really. But kind of like I was watching it, like like all the detail, all the people in the background, like the fuck's going on over there, Hank? Hank, are they filming me over there? But yeah, it was weird, man. Uh, then we had a promo. Ass boys, top flight. Uh, and that's boys pretend that the top flight are baggage valets and then they basically say hey, blah 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 we'll fight you on rampage but then they forget their bags and top flight walk off of their bags and then I don't think anything's going to come about which it should do like in their match the ass boys shouldn't have gear yeah they shouldn't have their ring gear like do you know what I mean like they should have just some random shit that they have to find in lost property still win yeah do you know what I mean still win their match they, they should come in and go, shit, man, we need to buy our bags, and maybe, ah, oh, they're in the locker room, and then maybe, like, Power Ranger outfits or something. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, they Power should, though. It would be good if they did something like that. If they don't utilise it, it would be stupid. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But, um, Before that, you probably missed it because you were watching ITV. They had a hype for the dream match, supposedly. I'm not aware of this. Oh, yeah. Obviously, I'm of Kenny Omega. He's sick, mate. But Ego del Kingo. Vikingo. Viking. Go. But they call him Big Ingo. The next week. That yeah. Was happening. I, I looked at his top 35 moves this morning. Like, I woke up. Yeah. And for some reason, I was like, oh, I'm going to check out his moves. Like, <laughs> having a stoop, like, do you know what I mean? And I'm just like, oh, I'll just watch some wrestling first thing, like. And he got 20 minutes in the morning, like, chose to watch wrestling. He's sick. He is real cool, man. So, uh, yeah, it should be an interesting match. Fair, fair. And 
then we had a main event hype. The Mark Henry going, it's time! It was weird. It was a good for a while. Yeah, and then, yeah, weird, man. Like, AEW are trying to purposely piss me off of my oats with that. They've been doing it all along with Rampage. Fuckers. Yeah, we need to start doing it. Is it time for the main <laughs> event? It's not time. <laughs> yeah. It could be time. It's not. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? Have you noticed as well, Tom and Tree has stole our thing since we started doing it with Excalibur. Where he's like, uh, and now Taz will try and pull him off, which no. is you. <laughs> nah, nah, yeah, maybe. Possibly, maybe. But anyway, it was Brody King versus Danny Garcia. Okay, match. Uh, dropped the hall into the stairs by Garcia was nice. Walked past and my bro D, then a power drive against two, nice. Uh, big cannonball in the corner by Bro D, squished his Garcia. Uh, back shot by Jericho while the rack is distracted. Then he puts on, then Garcia puts on the Dragon Team. Uh, Bro D is already out full. Garcia wins. I went with Bro D, man of the match. Oh. I remember Brody man of the match. One moment. Breathe. One moment. Yeah. It's okay, Macho. For what it was. Decent. Yeah. But yeah, overall, Rampage was an okay show. It wasn't like spectacular. The story. Uh, I think the promos what were. Match on it? There was one good match on it, but the promos were pretty good on it. <laughs> yeah, the promos were pretty decent. Tire was on it. Big fan of Tire. That's the only thing we didn't touch on. What do you think of Fire? Yes, ex excellent. Wicked yeah. signing, mate. Yeah, we've always said, we've been saying for a while, they do need a couple more veterans. Not yeah. Ruby Soho. No. Toby Storm. Like, veterans. Yeah. Tire well, they, they thought that in. Vince's world, but Vince. The only, she's everywhere else. The only thing I don't want with Tyre Valkyrie is for her to bring in Johnny last name. He was already there. I know he's been there, like, he was there a couple of months back, and he hurt himself in the match. And then he disappeared for a little bit. But yeah, I don't... I don't want to see that whole power fucking couple shit, like, Johnny. You know I mean? Well, no, I agree with you, because uh, I don't really rate him. I'm not, and that's not me being a prick, but I've never really thought, like... I would pay to see him. He was good once. Yeah. But he haven't evolved. Yeah. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? He's just uh, he's just like a guy who's getting older still doing the fucking ultra spinny shit like. It's like K Quick. I know his name's something different now. Ah uh, truth. Ah uh, truth. Do you know what I mean? Like he does the fast spinny shit like, but at the same time you can see that he's an older man, he's not wrestling all the time. Johnny, last name, always wants to fucking wrestle like Johnny. You know I mean? Yeah. Doesn't know when to just get old gracefully. But anyway. That's all we've got for Rampage. We are going to move on to some rumours of wrestling. Because we don't know anybody in the business. They are purely rumours. Yes? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, first up, a couple of injuries we have in AEW. The second one I'm going to have to double check, but I think he is. First one is Dan Housen. He's injured, injured his pec. Torn his pec muscle, so he had surgery yesterday. He's going to be off for a whistle. But the fact that he's had surgery so quick... Hopefully, he can stay on the sidelines and still do his very funny stuff that he's been doing anyway. Yeah. Just more comfortable than what he would be if he was fully injured, like Jimmy. Uh, also, Chucky T is potentially injured. Yeah, that was mentioned last week, I think. Yeah, I'm... Um, what was it? Yeah. Well, by us? By us and by AEW. Oh, okay. That's why we couldn't him for the Battle Royal. Ah... Ah, maybe that's what it was then. Right, yeah, okay then. Uh, next up, Oldberg is a free agent. Yeah. Yep, my, it's my sentiments exactly. Let's move on. Nia Jack says that she would sign with AEW. Yes. Yeah, well, I wrote God no after that. So, Tony Khan, if you're ever going to watch any episode and get to 50 minutes into the video... Don't sign Nia Jax. There are better wrestlers out there to sign on both fronts. And probably 
you'll have a bigger women's roster without her because she'll just injure them all. Unless, um, unless you want to, unless you need to hire someone to like dispose of talent before they contract out. That's what I mean. Yeah, that the would Rose, would be silver. Let's go in a squash match. Well, every Nia Jax match is a squash oh, match. Yeah, Nia, Nia Jax versus Ruby Silva, I meant, sorry. But if they were going to do it, mate, that's what it would be. It would be Nia Jax versus... The one you mentioned, The Rock's cousin. The Rock's cousin? Nia Rose versus Nia Jax. Oh, yeah, that's crap. Uh, <clears throat> last bit of news, Davey Richards accused of domestic violence and retires from wrestling. Again, yeah. The fact that, like, I, I kind of said the same thing. The fact that it's made the rounds again, there's got to be some element of truth in it. Yeah. You know, unless there is something that's really twisted and someone is trying to ruin his life. Isn't he retired? Like, when he retired... No, he come back. Doctor? He come back. No, I know, but when he did retire, didn't he become a doctor? He went into, like... I think it was, like, specialist in th physiotherapy. Oh, okay. But like, like the doctor side of it, not physiotherapist side of it. Mm. But um, yeah. But the fact that it's come out twice, you know. Well, I always thought it was dodgy, like when he didn't impact in the hiring when he started making rounds again. Like I understood it, like they didn't hire him straight away. Yeah. But after after the three month mark, I was a bit like, why? Hmm. Like Jermaine? Wow. I don't know. I don't know what the... I don't know what's going on like Jermaine. I like Davey Richards, oh man, as a wrestler. Don't know him as a as a human being. Same as Chris Benoit. Loved him as a wrestler. What he did as a yeah. human being was, was dreadful. Do you know what I mean? Like, but as a fucking wrestler, fantastic. Same as Davey Richards. Fantastic yeah. fucking wrestler. But yeah, clearly got some demons like Jermaine. Yeah. Anything else? Nope, that's all I've got. That is the last of it. You got anything? Yep, yeah, I read uh, Drew McIntyre was being praised by everyone in WWE for working his ass off when he's been sick or injured or everything and a locker room leader. He's basically being praised as a locker room leader at the moment, the new Undertaker. Uh, he's taking over Roman Reigns. Huh? He's taking over Roman Reigns. Roman yeah. Reigns is going to step out and he's going to step in. And they're going to go, wow, Roman Reigns, your accent's changed. And he's going to go, ah, no! Here's a fucking sword! Thing is, mate, he's Stab ya! Huh? He's, he's, already, he's lived in America. Yeah. And he's lived in Britain automatically, so. Yeah. They're on tour winner there. And like, like I said, apparently he's been working through injuries and illnesses and still like... Yeah. That's what you want. Basically, he's being a John Cena. And now he can live up to his women feeler idol's dream. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Vince. They're coming for you, Vince. Uh, oh, Bray Wyatt has broken his finger. Snapped it completely. How is he? Yeah, snapped like, like he could have filled her up and his finger was like over here. Oh, nice. Oh, there was a couple of other. Uh, Alexa Bliss is suffering with cancer. Skin cancer. cancer. Skin cancer. Well, I did see something, but I clicked off it because obviously I haven't watched Raw at the time. Yeah. And stuff like that, so. Yeah, apparently. Well, yeah, it is. Well, that's where she is from S. So yeah. Alexa Bliss. It's pretty shit, man, but at least it's not one of the the extreme ones that it's an organ like don't get me wrong your skin is an organ do you know what I mean like as they say but you know it's nothing that's internal at least hopefully there's lots of treatment that can be done with it so but yeah that's all I've got yeah that's all I had off of my as well so thank you for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for sharing, thank you for anybody who's helped us do this blog. Uh please keep on watching, check out the other videos we got online which those we'll tell you about right now. Backstage plan, uh, random live events. Uh, Mission Dark Vampire season will pull you up. Season 2 is halfway up. Yes. So, uh, yeah, check those out. Uh, like, subscribe, share to a wrestling fan. Check us out next week for episode 198. And watch Dynamite. And Rampage. And Elevation. Oh, 
honourable mention, honourable mention, Juice Robinson versus Leon Ruffin on Dark this week. Fucking incredible match. Incredible match. It's, it's either Dark or Elevation. It's one or the other. It's the opening match. Fantastic match. There's only five matches yeah. on it. 44 minutes. So, yeah, check it out. So, yeah, catch you next week. Peace. Peace.